my name is Alan Wolf. I'm Barbara's first cousin. Um, Barbara's mother, Beulah, and my mother were sisters. Uh, they were very close, and so our families uh, were very close as well. As children, we saw each other often, uh, often at the home of our grandparents. Um, holiday celebrations at that time uh, were often at our grandparents' homes, and later on, especially after uh, the death of our grandfather, holidays were celebrated at the home of Barbara's parents, Beulah and Arnold, or my parents, uh, and still later at the homes of the next generation, but we spent a lot of time together. Um, what I mainly wanted to do is share with you today uh, some audio clips from an interview that I did with Barbara over 30 years ago after the death of our grandmother, Esther. Uh, in, the, in this recording, you're going to hear Barbara talking about her grandmother and two of Granny's sisters, uh, our great Aunt Rose and Anna. Again, Granny and two of Granny's sisters. Um, I really value these recordings, not only or not even especially for the content of the anecdotes, but maybe more so because I think that they capture Barbara's great humanity, her sense of humor, and her joie de vivre. So here they are. Event. Granny and Aunt Rose would often talk about the same event, and you really had a hard time believing it was the same event. The stories from each side and the arguments going back and forth. No, no, you have it all wrong. No, no, you have it all wrong. Uh, of course, abounded. You just don't remember. You. Uh, well, so and so said, "What do you listen to her for?" <laughs> this is the the kind of thing that would go back and forth in terms of getting the facts straight. Um, Granny would call Aunt Dana when she was still living at home, and uh, Aunt Dana's classic lines were: she would tell Granny to put on a sweater, put on a sweater. Granny says, "Why should I put on a sweater? It's, I'm not cold." She's, Aunt Dana says, "But it's cold in my apartment." <laughs> Aunt Dana and Granny in the back seat of a car are having an argument. Here's the two dollars I owe you, Granny says. Aunt Dana says, keep your two dollars. I don't need your money. I don't want your two dollars. Uh, Take it. You paid for it. I want to pay you back. I don't want your money. Oh, shut up. No, you shut up. <laughs> this would go on back and forth. I think Granny sometimes would good-naturedly lose her patience with Aunt Dana, but it was always, it was never serious or, or really getting mad, and I think Aunt Dana knew it also. As Aunt Dana always took a nap in the afternoon. I guess Granny at one point asked her, you know, why do you always take a nap? At two, you can't do anything at two o'clock in the afternoon, you're taking a nap? She says, well, my doctor told me to lie down and take a nap. And it turns out that the doctor, oh, Aunt Dana was in her 80s at this point, I guess, 70s or 80s. The doctor apparently, when Lil was born, Lil Kessler was born, told Aunt Dana to lie down and take a nap in the afternoon. Uh, and Oh, some 50 years later, she's still holding to it, <laughs> religiously. Um, Barbara and I shared similar tastes in music. We were both avid readers and enthusiastic travelers. Uh, we often compared notes on the places we had visited. In recent years, we saw each other less often, but her vitality and generosity of spirit will always be with me and I will miss her greatly.